Okay, Team Joyce are down here at Wonthaggy Pony Club grounds and Sarah has ridden her a lovely horse, LH Albert, today in the Level 1 HRCAV dressage. Sarah, how's he going for you, darling? Because you're really not home very much. Yeah, no, today he went really good, thank you. We got our two rides in during the week because I'm on placement down at Kui Rup at Station Street, so... I uh, competed him yesterday and he was good but he just wasn't with me whereas today he just did two lovely tests which I was really pleased with. So how are you coping with like you rode him twice this week and you took him up to Wagga for two weeks and you didn't really get a chance to ride him up there yeah. but how do you how do you then make sure that he's going to be a good boy? <laughs> like what's your plan? Um, yeah you just sort of pray on the day that he'll uh, behave but no he's at a, a stage now where I can just give him a few rides during the week and he usually performs quite well on the weekend or at least he tries really hard and that's all you can ask from them when they're not in full work I guess but I look forward to a time when we can be in full work and see what our full potential might be. You got him as a real young horse he was only five and he was quite um, a handful really and you've come a long way what would you say to other people because he was a handful and you've done most of the work why, why do you think he has become a horse that is predictable more so than unpredictable which lots of horses can be uh, yeah so I guess at the time it was he was a bit of a handful and a bit much to sort of ride but we always persisted with him and probably the best thing for a horse like this was that he was my only horse he was all I sort of worked on and and tried to work with and then the trips back and forth from Wagga four times every year he learned to sort of that was that was his job it was easy he was enjoying it and he loves just going for a trail ride down the road but then the next day I can put him in the dressage ring and and he'll just try as hard there for me as well. So no, I'm really lucky that he is just, he's just my mate. And trail riding, you, you mentioned that. Do you, do, you, do you recommend that to people? Is trail riding yeah. good for them, Sarah? Yeah, no, so it's really good. Even though he is a performance horse, it's good for him to sort of be able to relax and have a, a nice ride down the road and just sort of take it easy to keep him happy, keep his mind on the job. So when we do go into the ring, it's sort of not just dull, boring, the same thing every day. Yeah. And and feed wise Sarah just quickly cover feed what what have you really kept him on all these years what's your main thing so, that you find works for you yeah he loves Barristock the uh, calm performer is usually what I give him morning and night but he's because he's not in full work he doesn't get full feeds every day he just has a bit of calm performer sort of the week leading up to the event but I always love to put some groom in there as well it just really helps keep that shine on his coat and the, his feet looking good and you find that's all you have to do with a yeah. bit of hay you yep, do you that's all he gets he's not in anything any special concoction it's just Barristock calm performer and just one more thing at Wagga there's not much grass is there so no. you find that's enough for a horse that doesn't yeah. get much grass Sarah yeah. no so just he gets grass hay as, as much as he can have morning and night and then yeah just a scoop of the uh, Barristock calm performer and, and I find that's that's enough to keep him at a good stage at the moment he did the tests out there he did two yesterday and two today and he was just as good today as he was yesterday for the first one so oh. he lasted really well 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 done from mum and dad of course and your sister tiffany thank you. and we're very proud of you and of course josh thank you and yep. um we'll look forward to catching up to you because now you're heading off to triple t so good luck there yep. thank thanks you. sarah bye-bye